Good afternoon, students. This is Mr. Verzat, and today we're going to start looking deeper into value drawing. Most importantly, value drawing for beginners highlight, midtone, and shade. So, value drawing, what is it? Well, it's one of the secrets to drawing realistically. It's also the foundation that you need to know before moving on into painting or doing things with color or anything that involves layers. And what does that mean? Well, you'll find out soon. But suffice it to say, value, as defined in art, doesn't mean how much something is worth. It's actually a term that means different shades of gray. Another word that we use is also called tone, different tones of gray. Similar to, say, colors on a color wheel, there are also values on a value scale going from black to white. The general rule of thumb is that if you want something to look realistic, strive to have no fewer than seven values, including black and white. Now that's for advanced students. You guys, as beginners, we're only going to focus on three. And those three are called highlight, midtone, and shade. So what are they? Well, highlight is the area of your drawing where the light directly hits. It would be the part of your drawing that's solid white, the part of your drawing where there's no pencil lead there. Surprisingly enough, it's also the smallest of the three. It's, there's the least amount of highlight in a piece. And as a beginning artist, learning how to shade, if you're coming out of an art class from, say, the junior high level or elementary level, shading has been taught uh, to be a part of a piece where you make a line drawing and then you add a little darker area to make it look 3D. It's a little bit different now. What we're doing now is we're treating value almost like paint. And if a highlight is the least amount of value in a piece, it's the smallest portion, well then that means there's going to be a lot of pencil lead laid down everywhere. So, moving right along, midtone is the next one. And what is midtone? Well, it's what your form or drawing or thing that you're drawing, it's what it looks like in natural light. Midtone is actually the largest of the three. And finally, there's shade. We're all familiar with that term. Shade is the darkest area on your form, and it's on the opposite side of your light source. So why do we use value? Well, let's take a look. This would be a drawing of a sphere that's nothing but midtone. Now, it looks flat. It's two-dimensional. And once again, we're working in a two-dimensional medium. You know, we're drawing on flat paper, and our drawing is flat. So we're, what we're doing in order to make things look realistic is giving an illusion that they're in 3D. And this is how we do it. Value gives depth. Value gives things three-dimensional appearance, even though they're on a two-dimensional surface. And so that, my students, is the secret to making things look realistic. Now we're going to get into more detail here. Let's take a look at how much of it we need to use. So if we look at the image right here in the middle of the screen, this is a sphere assuming that there's a balanced light source. Now what's that mean? Well, kind of like what you're seeing right now in my room. Uh, there are all sorts of different types of light sources, and we'll focus on those in advanced classes, but just a little preview. There's a silhouette. That's where your light source is directly behind what you're looking, so most of what you're going to see is shade with a tiny outline of light. Uh, there's also uh, volume light, where you actually see the light in the image, and parts of your image are burned out because there's light in front of it that you can actually see. And then there's another type of light, you know, that's refracted light through, say, a crystal, where your light does really crazy things when it bounces around inside of an object. We're not going to worry about that. So when I say a balanced light source, that's all I'm talking about. Something like if you were to set your object on a table, and that's what it would look like with the natural light shining on it. So let's look how much value is in this. It's mostly gray. That means if you were to shade this, you would actually be covering most of your sphere with pencil lead. It's a lot more work than we assumed. Hmm, that's not necessarily a bad thing though. Highlight generally makes up 10% of your values, just a tenth of your piece. It's small. Too much highlight burns out your image. Um, Midtone, which is the natural value and natural light, what, what it would normally look like, um, that accounts for about 40 to 60 percent. There's a lot of that. That's what you're mostly going to be doing, is laying down midtone. And then finally, shade is what helps punch it out. 
just like the highlight, except there's more shade typically than highlight, but less than midtone. Usually shoot around between 20 and 30 percent shade. If you look at the values, they blend together. You know, the, the artist here shaded those values so that they blended seamlessly together. If this, what, what this would look like if it were not blended together would be a solid strip of shade, a solid white circle of highlight. Try to shoot for those middle areas. So let's look at some more examples. This is an advanced student's work right here, and as you can see, there's very little white in it. A common mistake for beginning artists is to have most of the piece white. In a value drawing, it's mostly covered in lead, the whole thing. The only areas where there is no lead is where you want to highlight, which punches certain parts out. Now look at the student's work. Look at how much mid-tone there is. There's very little highlight, a lot of mid-tone. As a matter of fact, it's mostly mid-tone. And finally, probably about a third shade. And not only that, there's an awareness of the light source. So that helps you know where your shadows will be, will be and it'll help you to make your piece look more realistic. Because if your shadows are in the wrong space, something will look funny. Let's look at a non-example. This was a student's work right here where the assignment was to draw a value drawing. Uh, and as you can see there's value in it mainly in the hair. There's no value in the, the skin, the shirt, nothing. And I don't know about you, but if I saw a person walking around with no value, I'd be pretty terrified. Probably look like a ghost. So the first mistake is there's a ton of white. Your white only accounts for 10%, meaning a very, very tiny little bit. Then if you have a lot of white in your piece, then you'll know that there's something off. Also, this piece relies on contour lines. And we learned what those are. Those are lines in the traditional sense. Lines defining the wrinkles. Lines defining the folds in the clothing. Lines defining the eyes and the nose. Little symbols to help us understand what things are in the piece. And naturally, the next step up from that is to grow beyond the use of mere symbols and to actually use value. And why is value so important? Well, the reason why is, once again, lines don't exist in nature. And all it is is pure value. If you go up to a line that you think you see, get really close to it and all you'll see are just, just different changes in values. If you've learned how to draw with value, you're drawing closest to nature. In which case, that's why things look so much more real. So to summarize, value simply represents different shades of gray, and of those, we're going to focus on three values in this course, highlight, midtone, and shade. And that isn't just going to apply to drawing, it's actually going to apply to all the other areas that we work in. Colored pencil, painting. Your highlight is the part where the light directly hits. It's the white part of your paper, and of the three, it's the least amount, generally between 5 and 10%. It's the icing on the cake. Midtone is the natural. Midtone is the natural appearance of your form in natural light. It's the normal value that it would look like if it were sitting on a table in front of you. It also is the most. Uh, that's generally between 40 to 60 percent. Shade is finally the darkest area. It's the part that's on the opposite of the light source, and it is generally between 20 to 30 percent. The reason we use value is because it's closest to nature. And finally, it makes your work look realistic. So thanks for watching, and we'll get a little bit deeper in the future, and I look forward to seeing you in class.